Hello friends, today I'm going to solve lead code problem number 1351, count negative numbers in a sorted matrix. In this uh, video solution, I'm going to solve this problem using a binary search approach and try to optimize it even more. Um, I have solved this problem in a previous video using a brute force method. So if you have not watched that, watch that video before you watch this so that you get an understanding of the problem. Um, now let's dive into the solution for this one so um we have been given that it is the matrix is non-increasing both row wise and column wise right since it is non-increasing which means that it is sorted in a one way okay and we know that we if an array is sorted we can apply um, binary search right we can only apply binary search on an array or a list if it is sorted okay so that is what we are going to do here so if we take just one row then that is an array right so that is a one by one array and um, in that in this row we can then apply binary search now while we're applying binary search what do we want to find so we want to find the number of uh, a negative numbers in this row okay so to find that we have to find the index where the negative number starts from okay so that is what our um, uh, like um, that is what we want to find so we are going to start doing that so we take our left pointer and our right pointer so left will always point to index 0 right will always point to the last index in the array that is in our row and now we find our middle value so middle value will be left plus right divided by 2 and we take the floor value so now our middle value is equals to 3 and since 3 is a positive number so what we do is here um, we change the uh, left value by taking m plus 1 so now our index of left value has changed from here to here okay so now our left is pointing at this index okay so for that now we have to calculate a new middle value so while we are calculating the new middle value we find that the middle value is also pointing at the same index okay which is 2 so this value is again positive so what we do is we increment our left counter right we increment our left pointer so now our left pointer is pointing okay left pointer is pointing at this index right so now our left and right are both pointing at the same index which is this value and at this point our middle value is also negative okay now since our left and right both are pointing at the same value um we actually found our solution but we could uh, further go one step that is um we can uh, like we just check the middle value and it's negative so since it is negative now what we do is we shift our right pointer so r equals to m minus 1 okay if we found a negative value then that is what we do we change the right pointer if we found a positive value we change the left pointer okay so now um, while we are changing the right pointer what happens is our left pointer will be pointing at the same index okay and our right pointer is now pointing at the index this index okay now here if you look this is 0 1 this is index number 2 this is index number 3 so now left index is has a value higher is pointing at index 3 right is pointing at index 2 so left has left is greater than right at this point and that is when we break out of the loop okay so that is when we know that we have found our um starting point of the uh, uh of our um um row okay starting point of negative values in our row so that is when we bro break out of the loop and the index the left index the value of the left index is equals to the index of the our starting value for negative numbers okay so now we found our index which is equals to three now to find the total number of uh, in negative values in this row what are we going to do we are going to take the total number of columns that is equals to four we are going to subtract it by the value of our left pointer which is equals to three and we get the value one so that is 
what we will get for that row and we are going to do the same thing for other rows as well so that is how we are going to solve using binary search so since now we are doing a binary search over each of the element in the row and how many elements do we have in a row and number of elements right because there are n number of columns so since there are n number of elements the time complexity would be log of n and since there are m number of rows so we are going to do this m number of times right so our total time complexity will be m log of n for this <coughs> uh, solution okay so um, this is the binary search solution we could solve this in a much more optimal way as well so let's look at how we could solve this in a <clears throat> more optimal manner so i'm just going to copy this and paste it over here all right so what we have been given is that values are decreasing this way and also decreasing this way right so if we find a value minus one which means that any value beyond this point is less than minus one okay also um for the next row all the values um like beyond this and below this is also less so let's take this example i have minus one right so since i have minus one which means that all the values beyond this point that is here all these values will be less than this minus one which means that for our next row we cannot have the index negative index starting from uh, uh, like the next value okay the next column it could either be this the same column or could be the previous column so taking this concept we are going to solve this problem all right so what we are going to do is <clears throat> we start from the last index and now for the first column we start from the first column okay let me just clear all of this so we start from the first column and then we check is it negative yes it is negative right since it is negative we move to the uh, previous column for that row and then we check is it negative no it's not negative here so since we found the index where the positive number ends so we can now count the number of uh, negatives right so that is n minus the index where we found our positive so let that be equals to i so i plus one okay so that will be it so that is equals to 4 minus and if you take the index it's 0 1 2 so that will be 2 plus 1 which is equals to 3 so 4 minus 3 is equals to 1 so that will be the total number of um, negative numbers in this row all right now for the next row how are we going to solve it since we found our negative index at row i at index i we are going to start from that index okay and then there we check is it negative it is not right is since it is not then we do the same thing that is we take n minus the value of the index at that point plus one so that would also be equals to one okay so we found one negative values in this row as well all right now for the next one we do the same thing again so we take the value of i the same value of i and then we check it's negative right so now we move to the previous one and now we check here is it negative or positive it's positive okay so since we found the positive value now we are going to perform this calculation so in this case now it would be 4 minus i is equals to 1 okay so 1 plus 1 would be equals to 2 so 4 minus 2 gives us equals to 2 so here we know that there are two negative numbers and we found the value 2 and same we are going to do here now we move to the next call row and then we take the same value of the index okay because we we can see right you could see right all the values after that point is negative so either this value could be positive or the value before that could be positive so we keep on moving and then we found a negative one so we keep move try to move to the previous value and then we get a minus negative value right so in that case we just break and then that would be n 
minus 1 we are getting a minus 1 so we just do the same thing and minus minus 1 plus 1 would be equals to uh, 0 right so n is equals to 4 so that will be our value there so we get the number equals to 4 so our total number of positive negative numbers is equals to 4 plus 2 plus 1 plus 1 which is equals to 8 okay so that is how we solve it in a linear manner okay so this will be a linear approach and the time complexity would be o of n plus m all right so that is how we could solve the two problems using uh, binary search and using linear method so here in this case i'm going to solve this using linear approach okay so first let me solve it using linear approach so for that what do we need is we need the number of rows and columns so let me just get that grid okay grid length of the grid and then let n is equals to grid uh, zero length okay so now that we have put the number of rows and columns let us define our index so let i is equals to um uh, it would be the last one right we are starting from the last one and then we are moving forward right so that would be last one which is equals to n minus one the last column name okay now we start from our first row so let i is equals to zero i is less than m i plus plus we start from now for each of the row we start from the last index okay so we are starting from our last index here and then we keep on moving until and unless we don't find a positive uh, value okay so for that we are going to use a while loop and in the while loop we are going to take this post index and we are going to use it while post index is greater than equals to zero and while the value is uh, equals to negative right in the grid while the value of grid at that index is um, negative so that would be less than zero what are we going to do is for that we are going to decrease the value of positive index once we have found the the index where the value is positive that is when we are going to increment our count so count plus equals to n minus positive index plus one all right and now finally we return our count so now let's try to run our code and see all right so our test cases has been accepted awesome so this is how we could solve this and this is a linear time complexity solution which is the most optimal one and the space complexity here is constant hope you liked my solution let me know in the comments down below thank you